Now, obviously there's like a theatricality to uh, ch a church service. Now, was that something that, that got you interested in the theater? You know, what's so amazing is I came up here having gone to church so much down there. And uh, I, I sat in my first Broadway play and it, it's like I, you know, it's like it was my own church, you know? It was like it was like it was a church. I'd gone from one church to another in a sense, you know, because you, you sit down, you know, sometimes they ask for money, they have their, there's their song and dance, you know, and yeah. then the, there's the message and then you go home and you think about it kind of. Right. So I, I really was interested in the theatricality of that in terms of theater and church. And now hopefully, um, you know, the cinematic appeal of it as well, we're going to we're gonna bring to it and open oh, yeah, it up sure. a little bit more. Sure. Show more of the town, show more of the people, yeah. and uh, really just show the um, the entertainment value as well of a church service, you know? Yeah. Um, which I'm sure you'll help us with as a preacher. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's open. And now, what, uh, I, I recently watched the documentary about uh, Marjo Gortner. Yeah, that was um, awesome. Yeah, really interesting guy. Yeah. Um, and it's really interesting, like how he brings this like rock star energy to his sermons. But obviously, he was he was uh, a fake, a sham, and exploiting everyone. I, what I think is really interesting about Eli is he truly believes. Yeah. But he he doesn't have the rock star quality. He's not good at, at getting the people energized. Yeah. What I was most interested in with the play, particularly, um, and now with the screenplay as well is that every single Christian in the play really believed. You know, they had a sincere faith. Sure. You know, no matter how they practiced it, no matter what that meant to them, and how that manifested itself in their lives and the lives around them. Uh, now, part of the entertainment factor of a church service is the music, obviously. Um, did you grow up having any favorite hymnals? <laughs> you know, I remember some of my memories, earliest memories, I think, are on the basketball team. We'd be going to a... Uh, an away game and they would just be singing hymns the whole way there uh -huh. you know what I mean now it's like I'm sure you know everyone would be on their iPods and whatnot but um, at that point you know that's what we would do for entertainment that's sure. what we were doing you know right. they, they had some really catchy ones I think you uh, know? that's one of the reasons I think that the, the church doesn't have as much influence in, in the community anymore is, is at the time that was where you went to, yeah. to be a part of, of of the community and sing and hear music yeah. and I mean it's and again, now you, ha you can just put your iPad in or again it's know. a fine line between really the uh, theatricality of it and then the you know sincere message kind of, of sure. it sure you know and the theatricality you know wins when you're kind of looking toward the money more than sure than well I, I remember going it. to a, a church camp uh, one summer and um, some what was it I can't remember anymore but we were all uh, we were all singing. Um, our God is an awesome God. And Our God I, is yeah, an awesome God. I remember being like, God. wow, this is such a powerful experience. Oh, man, I, I can't tell you how many times I've rededicated myself to God, I think. <laughs> yeah, do uh, that song. Up in the South. Yeah, yeah, just like any of those songs, you get so emotional and, you know, you, you start weeping and just giving them money and just sure, like sure. confessing all sorts of sins, you know. I remember we couldn't go sometimes because we would have chapel every day in the school and we wouldn't be allowed to go really to uh, lunch until pretty much everyone had rededicated themselves. So, you know, yeah, wow. so you had to get we, we got to where we were just, you know, starting to go down there okay. a lot, I think. 